Hello you beautiful people, it's Sherry Moulton back with another video. Happy Friday! I hope you enjoyed It's Go Big or Go Home this week. Everything is big. My, um, my bling bling was big. My five piece canvas for my Dutch pour was big. And I thought I want to do this and I, I just bite the bullet and we're going to do it. So I am doing my table today. I don't know if you remember in one of the other videos, I purchased this table for $20 and I thought it would be amazing for my trailer. I am switching some of the furniture around in my trailer and I thought this would be amazing between my two new chairs. So this is a table with a lamp. Uh, if I can get it. The lamp does come out so we'll go through all that and we're doing a beach theme on this. So that's going to be today's video. So I am going to have to do it on the floor so we're going to figure out all that fun stuff and with that we're going to get right into it because it might be a little longer because you're going to go through the prep with me. Not doing anything extravagant. I'm just going to you know, give the top a light sand. I'm going to base paint it. I'm going to tape it all around. I'll show you some neat things I found for the taping. I've had them for quite a while, but never actually used it. And with that being said, I'll see you guys with the prep. I'll be right back. Hello. We are down here on the floor. There's a nut underneath here to take off the um, lamp portion. So I thought I'd show you that. Almost, there we go. So this just comes right out. And there we go. I have taken some um, paper, or even though it's plastic, from my stash from when we were doing the vapor barrier it's vapor barrier so i have it cut out on my floor not like my floor really needs to be saved because there's a path of resin and paint here that i can't get off so anyways so with that that part is done i'm old now if i can get up that would be wonderful there we go we're gonna put this on the table meaning i'm not using my table And here we go. So I'm excited. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand it and give it just a light sand. I'm not too worried because the resin will fill in some stuff. And I have this amazing stuff. I had purchased it. It's pre-tape, pre-taped painters plastic. So you tape and it folds down. So I'm going to tape all around here, but what I'm going to do is sand first. So I just wanted to show you how easy it was to take off my light and I'm going to be right back. I'll get everything so that you're not sitting there being all bored. So I'll be right back guys. Okay, we are back. I changed my sweater. I bought myself the other sweater used the blue one and um, I ruined this one so I thought I'm not going to ruin another one so I went and got my sweater. I have just a 20, 220 grit, like I said it doesn't have to be crazy and I'm just going to give it a light sand and then we're going to, here let me just cut part of it here, oh. right, we're going to give it a light sand. I might put it around this block that I already have. Might be easier to hold. There we go. You just want to rough it up, take off the finish.
know what that white thing is, but we're gonna get rid of that. I'm hoping you can see all right, guys. All right, now I'm gonna take just a wet Lysol wipe, give it a wipe down all around the edging. there by the looks of it. Perfect. So that part is done. Now, I'll let that dry for a second before I put my tape on. And we're just going to tape it with this. And with this, it will cover all of the bottom. So I'm not too worried about um, getting it the bottom all taped up. So now, I think it's easier if I just, <laughs> if I get back down here. And here we go. Pretty bad, you might see me in the whole video this time. All right. I want it to flow over the edges. So what I'm gonna do is flip it and just tape the edge here. I can re-wipe off the top, no big deal. So I'm hoping this will work. And I think I have to go this way with it. I don't know, we're gonna try this and see. It's all stuck now. That's hilarious. Just gonna get it, try and get it even. And you see what it's gonna do? It's gonna have that. So I'm impressed. That's gonna be cool. And I'm going to cut here and the funny part is when you cut that, you got to cut all this and then I'm going to overlap that so the corners will stay. I'm just going to bunch it up and cut it. There we go. So that'll go in there and then we're going to flip it this way. Maybe it's probably better to just cut the pieces. An estimation. Oh my goodness, Sherry. And then that way we won't have an issue. I thought this was the coolest thing. I'd never seen it before. You guys probably have. And you want to overlap the corners. And pull because it's stuck on the tape. Normally I wouldn't show all of this. But I thought, you know what, this is kind of a neat process. And I'm going to just add 
And again, I'm not, I'm not hating it if you want to fast forward. So, as you all know by now, I enjoy putting the whole video up and giving you the option. All right. I think I might trim this here and here, just so I can lay this a little better. side and then we'll see if it works. I'm going to cut. I'm just going to cut back this plastic on the edging there so it might sit a little, the tape will sit better. All right. Funny. I think I might need to. All right, here we go. We're overlapping the other tape and pressing down. And I'm gonna. Oops! I just want to get this corner because it went over there. So that is that. I will link this in the description box. It is Scotch Blue, three brand, and it is it's called Pre-Taped Painter's Plastic. That is actually quite cool. And I'm thinking it might be a good idea to take off all of this cat fur that's on the bottom, because that's not what we want on there. Okay. We're going to flip it up and hopefully what I did works. And then with the, I can tape the, see, now isn't that the coolest? You're probably not seeing it on that side. And then come around the edge with just a bead of tape. Oh, I was going to say, it's not long enough, but I didn't pull it all the way. Now that is awesome. So if you're ever doing anything like this, I think that is a very good option to do. Because it covers everything. And I'm just going to tape it underneath, tape it around, and I won't bore you with that if I can get up off the floor. Ah, getting old sucks, guys. And then it doesn't help when it's all plastic on the floor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I tape all the edges so that's all adhered. I'll show you this finished project. I will bring my paints out because we're gonna base this like I base the round. I think it's a good idea to have a color on, on there. So, all right, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, we are back. Everything is taped. Um, I'll show you. I I just overlap them and put tape, just in case, because we don't want to do any extra sanding. So I'm gonna base coat this. My beach is gonna be down where the lamp hole is, because I intend to put some shells on top because you're not going to put nothing right on the edge. So I'm going to go gold. I have a light blue. I have like a turquoise and then we have a dark blue. So my colors of choice are Deco Art Metallics. This one is glorious gold because I intend to use that amazing gold 
from Laura's Art Corner in my pigments. So that's what's going to be my sand. I'm not going to put sand. Um, I'm also using Artist Loft. Sorry, my camera's all different. Artist Loft, um, this one is, oh my goodness, Cer Ceruline, Ceruline Blue. Ah, I was getting so good at names. Um, Liquid X Basic, this one is Turquoise Blue. And this one's Artist Loft, this one is Brilliant Blue. And I am, we'll start with the gold. Actually, no, we're gonna start with the blue and get her done. I am using my big brush. This is the brush that I, I, I love. I know it's expensive, but sometimes you get what you pay for, right? So this one is a 60 Royal and Langton Lang Nickel. I'll let you read it. I don't know if you can read it. Can you read it? Lang Nickel. And it's an R795. I'm just going to, sorry, skip in front of you. I'm going to grab a little bit of water so I can clean out the brush if I need be in between. And in my little bucket here. Woohoo! Just a little water. I'm just going to damp my brush. And here we go. Ah, forget it. We'll start with the gold. We're going to go down. And I'm going to do the eye, the eyes, the edges, because we want it to... How far do we want the beach to go? Let's go like that. I'm going to be sitting on this side of the table, so... Yeah. And you want to go with the grain, being it's wood and all. And this might take two coats, but you want to have a good base so that when you put your resin on, it's not going to bleed into the resin. Look at that. I got drips already on my um, my floor. That's too funny. Just get the edges. And like I said, it's going to be covered with the resin. But you just want something in case you get some naked spots. Maybe I will do... Because I want it a little off. Because I'm off, right? You, know, you guys know me by now. I'm a little off. There we go. And again, I've got too much paint. Get the edge again. Perfect. I go perfect and then I ruin it. Okay, so we're gonna leave that. Let me just, I'm gonna pull out the blow dryer and do this quick because there. I'm going to rinse my brush just a, a bit and we're going to go into the light blue some paper towel, try and get some of that color out. There we go. And light blue we go. I got too much paint here. And 
again, I'm not worried if there's, just want to make sure I'd rather overcoat than have a gap with no paint on it. Which is good because the sand's probably more than what I need. And the edge. And then again, go with the grain. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to leave that. I just want to get that. Give that another little dry. And then we'll go to the next color. I'm not going crazy because we want to variegate the colors anyway. And here we go, teal. Turquoise, I guess. I'm excited. See, upstairs, this sits in front of me. In my chair upstairs and I prop my laptop on it while I'm rendering all my videos so I'm I see it every day so I'm like oh I really want to do that so I thought like I said go big or go home this week so and again it don't matter if there's weird edging because we're gonna long as that table surface is covered. Look at that color, doesn't need a second coat. Perfect. But I will do a second coat on the other, at least maybe even the bottom part of the blue. Because if you remember, my other video, it bubbled on me because I did base coat it, but this has a bit of a varnish on it, so this should be fine. I'm hoping. I'm rinsing this out. messy. Isn't that funny? All right, here we go with the dark, the brilliant blue. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Pardon me, I'm going to keep cut, periodically cutting in front of you, but I just had no other way of doing this, so I thought this was my best alternative because of my my bum shoulder and my bum hand, I wouldn't be able to put it on the table and do it, so. Oh, we've got some pale blue in there, but that's all right. This is just an undercoat for the resin. And I did try to level this out as best be, but we're not going to do big heavy coats, so, or at least I'm hoping I don't do big heavy coats. You never know with me. Things happen. I just want to do one nice line down there, and there, and then let's just even it out so we don't have streaks. Perfect. I'm going 
gonna do one more coat on each of these and, <laughs> and then we're gonna let it dry. All right, rinse this out. Hope I'm not boring you guys. Oh. Ever since we took the gazebo down, I bought all of the stuff to put my over, over, what do they call it? Offset umbrella. And it has rained every day. So it's like, are you kidding me? All right, I'm gonna come back with the gold. So we haven't been able to Maybe I'll use a different brush because I don't want blue and the gold. All right, let me just grab. I'm just going to use this brush. Again, not like it really is going to matter because we are putting the resin on top. This is just to have a base coat on the paint on the table. because you really want to get the edge because you want that resin to stick everywhere. I forgot my disco balls here. I keep hitting my head on it. So I'm, I'm having my own little party here without, uh, without even knowing. with that okay let's just get in here I thought I poured too much gold I just want to get where it blends where it meets I want to do a definite line there perfect and then we're coming back with the light blue I just don't want to, I put new puppy pads out. I just don't want to ruin the puppy pads because you go through them often. All right, here we go. Light blue. Oh, and it is not dry. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to come back, do a second coat, and then we'll be ready to do some resin, I hope. So with that being said, I'm gonna put you on pause. We're gonna let this dry so I can do a second proper coat on those. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, we are back. I did two coats of my paint. Um, I was just playing around, looking to see if I might put some of that um, stuff there. I have mixed up um, eight ounces Actually, 10 ounces of resin. I resin of choice is crystal resin. I will link it in the description box. And as per usual, I wore my mask while I was mixing. And please, please, please use your mask. Um, look at your resins 100%. They will tell you to wear a respirator. I have my Dyson Air Purifier on, so we're good to go. So I'm choosing not to wear it. So this is the lid. When I prepped everything, I was blow drying the, the, the table to make sure it was dry. And I looked in here and I went, are oh, you kidding me? I wasn't worried about the hole, but the hole goes right into where the book rack is underneath. So I stuck one of these resin bowls underneath and taped it. But then I put this cap to the um, one of my bottles in there just to make sure what was what. So each one of these cups has two ounces. This one has a little less. 
and this one has even a little less. I'm going to do um, mix up my paint, my resin colors. So this is Aqua Ocean by La Res. So that's going to go in. <sighs> you can get all of these pigments at Laura's Art Corner. Um, I will link it in the description box. We're going to give it a stir. Yes, I will link it in the description box. Go give it a check out because you get 10% when you use my discount code. So I'm using, oh, maybe I'll take a little. I can always add more. Just that much. I'm sorry, I'm looking and not looking at the same time. So that was the Aqua Ocean, which is really pretty. These are all the same colors that I used on the... Um, other beach theme thing I did. Um, this one is again by La Res. This is Peacock Dance. It is amazing blue color. And with this one, I'm going to put a bit in it. And then I'm going to, this one is really thick compared to the other one. I don't know what the difference is. Like you can see Maybe, Laura, you can tell me if I've done something to it. But it's quite a different consistency. I want it dark. So I'm going to use that much. And I'm going to put it in there. And I'm going to mix this one up just because I want to... Make sure that it's a nice color and it's got that deep. Yeah, let's see. Now let's check out this one. This is the dance, the, uh, the light colored, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to add more to. And yes, I am. So I'm going to add a little more into that. It's hard to know. Yeah, do you see the difference in the paste? So I don't know if the other one I've, if something, I did something to it. I don't know. Because that's very transparent. So I'm going to put that much in it. And we'll see. And always use another stir stick. You don't want to contaminate your container. That's good because that's I don't want it to be too. And this is the one that I want to see if I can. Sorry, I'm going to put it up here. Let's see if I can use that stir stick in this one. to get an in-between color. So I'm pretty sure I did that last time. And I might just take a little bit out of there. Yeah, I think that's good. So we got that color, that color. And for the Sand, I'm not using sand like I did in the other one. I'm just going to use pigment and I am using this gorgeous. If you can read that, I just like, look at this. It just looks like, look how it falls in that container. I'm hoping you can see it. Anyway, I'm going to use, I'm bringing it up here so I don't, because it's a pigment, I don't want to make a mess on that. Oh my goodness, it won't stay on my stir stick. So that's how much I'm going to use. Actually, I'm going to put the stir stick in. Let me get my spoons. I like measuring it with the spoon. Oh. There, I'm going to use this much. 
and that was two ounces in there. Oh, does that not just look like, oh my goodness. A bath in that and a bath in my glitter and away we go. I think that is enough. And I'm gonna put the lid back on that. So that was um, Iridron Pigmente, and it's pale gold, again, from Laura's Art Corner. So that's going to go down here. That, that. I keep thinking it's going to tip over because um, the depth of the, <laughs> of the, uh, the top and the legs. Uh, the brain don't work every day. So this is Larez. This is the pigment paste and this is the angel white and this yeah I think the other one it looks like it's dried the other one which is fine it still works for me I might put go a little heavier with the pigment on the, the white yeah yeah there we go so again my I got it all wet so mine is all funky dunkied my <laughs> container and I left that underneath just so I didn't make a mess and again, when you are using your pigments, make sure when you put them away that they're level because you do not want it to be unlevel because that wouldn't work out very well. All right, we're mixing up the white. And I may have more than what I need here, but I thought to myself, I've got that little bear that still needs to be filled. I'm looking around here for my measuring tape because I'm pretty sure, and I literally just had it, here we go. I know it's just gonna measure this to let you know how big it is. It is basically 19 and a half inches by 15 and a half. So it's a substantial size. Okay, here we go. Enough with the gibby gabbin. We're getting on to the show. All right, down with the the sand it's awkward working this way I wanted to bring it up but I didn't want to un make it unlevel as well so it's one of those catch-22 things. There we go. So all of the gold is on. And I'm trying to find something that I can use to spread it around. I'm just gonna use an old, I got a bunch, I bought a bunch of these combs. Best thing probably to do was my fingers. So we're gonna leave that. Let's get this in here. Actually, maybe I will. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my glove, and I'm just gonna. I gotta move fast. This is getting sticky. And go around the edging. Holy moly. I'm gonna warm, uh, here, I gotta turn this thing off because I'm gonna blow a fuse. I have a heater going here and I'm gonna, I blow the whole bottom of the, I'm just gonna warm this up. There we go.
edges so they're nice and smooth. Okay, now I'm going to flip my glove and I'm going to put on these big chunky ones now. And we're going to get into this. The date today is the 13th. I have six days till my doctor's appointment. And boy, oh boy, I tell you, I can't wait. There's the light blue. Yeah, this stuff is getting warm, so I gotta hurry. Medium blue and the dark blue. Just going to use this stick. There we go. And I'm just going to try and wiggle it out. And then when I heat it up, you're going to be good. And it's good because I can put, I can see my lines here. And I'm thinking it's going to be good because I can put... I just want this to marry a little bit. Oh. That blue is really not that very blue. Let's get this here. And then let's get the dark. I'm going to probably do another coat. I'm not just going to leave this, I think. This coat will be the color, and I'm thinking I might come back with just plain resin. And there we go. I'm going to get the heat gun out, get her going. This, I'm going to keep these glove on until I get this stuff warmed up. Because I want to get it over the edge. off and now do another glove <laughs> and I got some clear resin so I think I might put the clear here
where there's missing. Oh my goodness, look at the, oh! All right, another glove on. And let's see where we go with this. I think I'm looking the, I love the colors. Oh my goodness, my hand. Okay. I want this to marry a little more. I don't know why I'm saying the word marry, but. Down there, okay. Another glove. I'm glad I got all these ones I don't like that are too big. All right. Sorry, guys. You have no idea this silly hand. There we go. Okay. There will be no more glove changing going on. I got my white. Now we're just gonna try and get all this going. There we go. I had it on the wrong end. Okay. Now we're going to do a line of the white right here on the... A line of the white right here. And then we're going to go down to the beach. There we go. I had it on the wrong, guys. I had it on the wrong end. Let's get, we'll do another, we'll do one over there and we'll do one over here. And let's see, oh, it's stringing. Let's see what happens. I don't want a blob. Let's get this one going first.
actually because because it's getting hot I'm gonna actually pour pour it on here we're gonna do and then we'll do another thick one here let's see resin under my toes. I'm so happy with that. I'm gonna actually put, oh, look at you sticking on that feet. I'm actually gonna put a little bit right here maybe. Oh, this is getting really hot, so I have to work quick. There, and then do another row here. And that's it, all right. I don't know if you can hear my feet sticking and my heat gun is hot, hot, hot. I'm taking my one glove off just so I can do this right. Okay. I think that's it my beautiful people oh my goodness I love this I was trying to get it here so that it wasn't um, uh, so it was hiding the line now I'm noticing there's a couple of bald spots so I'm just gonna actually I'm gonna leave it because I'm gonna do a second coat anyway and with that second coat I'm thinking um, 
I might put, actually, let's play with that. We'll put some of those in right now. Um, I love these. I love these guys. So we're going to put one of them in there. We're going to put it like this. And then we will do one of these guys and one of those guys. I know it's on a table, but you know what? Kind of where it is on the table, you're not going to... And I'm going to put the hole up on this one. Perfect. And... Maybe a couple of the whoo, these little guys. There, that's it. I'm gonna bring you down. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And I am like ecstatic with this. It's all dripping off. I'm gonna come around with my finger with a glove and kind of drip off the edges, but I'm gonna bring you down and show you exactly what uh, my feet are sticking. Look at that. Does that not actually, that wave looks like a heart because I love you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at the cells on that bottom. That is just amazing. And I think that's cute. It'll be enough, just enough, because the table is going to sit back from the chair. You're not going to put anything realistically on the edge of your table. That is gorgeous. Now, I don't know if you can see, but there's a bald spot there and a bald spot there. So I will do a second coat of thin coat of white clear. And I might come in and do like another row of a wave up this way, sorry, up here so that it goes up onto that. I think it'll be cool. I'm excited. Oh my goodness. All right. With that being said, my beautiful people, I will see you tomorrow or probably maybe five hours with a second coat. See you when I come back. Good morning. We're back. I'm going to do my second coat. So I have mixed up um, eight ounces of resin. I didn't want to do, I did 10 on this one. And I had a couple of blobs that were missing. And I did do a good, almost two ounces of the white, which I did not need to do. So I thought, well, instead of wasting a bunch of resin, I'm just gonna do eight ounces, do a thin coat. And I kept one ounce out here. I'm gonna put some of my angel white pigment from Larez from Laura's Art Corner. I'm gonna put that in there because I do want to do a a a wave. I was gonna say cloud. I want to do a wave that will bring it up over onto the shells, and then maybe just throw one in here and. I don't know. We'll see. I love it how it is right now. And I'm not going to use hardly any at all. I'm scraping it all off because I've only got an ounce, not even an ounce, I don't think, in that cup. Ugh. I'm so excited. I made a video and I'm showing my dad and I'm sending it to my daughter, my son-in-law, and I'm like, look what I did. I was impressed. My hubby, he doesn't get downstairs. He could he could come if he wanted to, but it's just a matter of um, I've got everything kind of strategically placed down here, so it's kind of hard for him to walk around. So I did the video more so to show him, but I had to share it once I did it. Okay, let's go. Clear coat, here we come. You know what, 
I'm just going to put it all on. I know people are going to say that that's too much, but it's the table, and I really, really want to make sure that it's um, got a nice coat on it, because I want it to be pretty. I'm going to get it over the edge because I want that nice. It's too funny. I had to have a, I had to have a foot soak last night because my feet had resin. I, I'm a barefoot girl. Hmm. I'm not one of those girls that as soon as you get home, the bra comes off. Me, it's as soon as I get home, <laughs> the socks come off. <laughs> So I'm always in my bare feet. All right. Get around these shells. I guess maybe I should have poured in behind it. And I pulled this plug out. Um when it was drying just to see what if it was good and it actually was good so that's good all right just want to make sure nice coat on the edge perfect i'm going to take off that glove and put on another and oh, it's hard to put the glove on that stupid thumb okay i'm going to I gotta turn off my heater before I put my. All right, here we go. Just gonna warm it up. figure out if I can jimmy up something to fit over this because I might take one of my trays and maybe jimmy something up sit side by side on it so I'll hold the tray over top all right here we go I hope I don't goof it up because I like it as is I'm gonna take maybe another cup and pour some of this in there so I don't make a mess. Here, I'm just pouring. There, so it'd be easier to 
pour and hopefully uh, let's see that. Here we go. Wish me luck. Is awesome. I'm excited. Oh my goodness. I feel like a kid in the candy shop. I'm gonna now Laura told me to try the torch where there's no cells and maybe it'll pop up with some cells. Oh! Alright, enough of that. Oh the cells are there. Oh that's oh my goodness. It is extremely um crazy when something out of my brain comes out and actually works <laughs> i am a nerd uh, i don't know do i want to put just to give it a dimension i might put another layer just here and blow it back this way and we'll do another one here, just to cover this line. I don't like the line. And maybe something here. And then we're done because I don't want to. I want to pour it a bit there right before we start. There. I think that's that. And we're gonna. Here we go. <laughs> leave it because I don't want like I said I don't want it to to overtake oh my goodness <laughs> I might fix this though I just backed into my stupid um disco ball my hair got caught all right maybe I'll do it I don't know I don't like how it left there I'm excited oh my my and doing, oh, the layers on that, just looking at it this way, doing the layers on the, it 
it gives it like a dimension. Hmm. Actually, we'll do one big chunky line again down here. Because I really want to get that. There. I know I said I didn't want to do any more, but. There we go. There, I like that. It, it didn't. It uh, covered up that line. All right, I'm gonna back away. I'm gonna leave it, and I'm so excited. I think this is gonna be cool. All right, I'm gonna bring you down and let you have a look. And hopefully, let me just grab. There's a couple stupid things on here. That you can see from the side. Which I do not want left in there because I want it to be as perfect as I can. If that's possible. Okay, I'm going to go quick, and then I'm going to see if I can take my gloves off. Here we go, guys. I'm so excited here. I'm just going to unplug you. All right. Look at that. That, I love how that turned out. It's that extra little umph umph. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad I did that second one down here because it makes it look more natural. And I don't know if you can see the three. It's just amazing. I don't know why it took me so long to try this beach stuff because I could do this one every day. So with that being said, my beautiful people, I'm going to leave you, love you, leave you, and I will see you tomorrow with it hopefully dry and amazing. I'm going to try and jimmy something up so I can cover it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I'm excited. It turned out, what the heck? It's always amazing when a plan comes together. I wanted to show you my... I took my stuff all off the floor. I wanted to show you my... My jerried cover I did for my thing. So what I did is I put my two chairs here and I washed off. It was already it's plastic covered and that's what I did. Made sure it was all in, of course, but it worked. So just an idea, if you need something, just take something big and put it on over there. Now I've taken the tape off not the tape, but the plastic off of underneath, all around. The plastic is all gone. Now what I'm going to do is get my heat gun out and we're gonna take the tape off. So I'm gonna bring you in a little bit, maybe. And I, maybe, we'll leave you where you are because you're good, you can, I, you can see. Turn off my heater and bring out my heat gun and I'm gonna get down on the ground again. Hopefully I can get back up. 
Hello. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get this. I am just going to, if my fingers want to work today, we'll be good. I'm just going to heat the edge. just excited how this turned out. I am so happy. It's pretty cool when a plan comes together. Now, of course, some of the drips are not on the tape. I will fix that. I just want to be careful. I want to be careful because I don't want to rip off any of the edge. So I'm taking my time. I don't want it to affect the edge of the table because you will see that. So One side down. Here we go. We're going to flip it this way. Do the same. Like that. I am so impressed. Look at how that turned out. I'm going to bring you down for a really good look. But I just wanted to get this done and we're going to put the table lamp back on. I'll show you. One minute. I'll show you a close-up before I put the lamp base back on because you have to see the whole thing because it is no, 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 no. Okay, it's doing what I don't want it to do so I'm gonna warm it up again here Not impressed. Yesterday it was so beautiful out. I went and sat outside for a little bit. And then I thought, oh, I can take this outside and show you the end result. It is pouring rain out right now. So I won't be able to do that for the end of the video. Grr. But the main thing is, it turned out, so that's okay. <laughs> and so far, so good. No technical difficulties. It's melting the <laughs> the plastic off of the uh, it's what the smoke you see if you see any smoke on it. Oh, my goodness. I really want to get this off before I put my lamp on because it's going to be a pain with the lamp on it or so. No, that's not what I want to do. All right. And again, you got a fast forward button, my friends, if you don't want to watch my painstaking removal of tape. I've gotten good with um, editing, but when it comes to doing the fast forward and the, I'm still I'm sorry, 
I'm good because most of my videos are like eight, nine clips to add together. So you're getting good from Sherry when, when you're getting that. Here, just one sec. Almost done. We got one more little edge to do. When you see things on sale that are pretty cheap and they don't look the best, you need to do some stuff, have some fun. Hoping the center hole is good for the light because I did have stuff in there holding it open so I'm hoping it worked oh my gosh two inches guys down here that I want to try and get off if I can. Maybe. I just don't want to pull. There we go. Pull it down so it's not going to affect that. Awesome. All right. Let me get up off the floor if this gal can get up off the floor. <laughs> Another piece of tape. Sorry, guys. Perfect. I am so impressed. Here, I'll see if I can lift it up. Like, look. Look at that. I am impressed with this. Most people wouldn't put shells on a table, but this is for me. Now, if I was selling it or doing it for somebody, I would not probably put this actually on a table. Sherry likes things different. Um, I loved doing the second layer. Um, Laura gave me this amazing tip. When you do the second layer of clear, make sure, and you can put a few more waves and it gives it that three dimensional, like this wave was added and this wave was added. Um, this here was added so it, it looks more three dimensional. So it's actually, Okay, so enough with that. Let's get the lamp put back together. Now give me suggestions. I need, I'm gonna get a new lampshade, obviously. And I need to figure out a color. Now my trailer, if you've watched my video, I did a little video at the end of the season where you get to see the inside of the trailer. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let me. Excuse me for cutting in front. I need to get my little exacto knife and hopefully I can poke out of what is in there if my hand will allow me to back again. Sorry guys. a struggle somewhere right well there's a will there's a way sherry will overcome <laughs> all right all that's in yes let me know what color of uh, lampshade you think i should do Oh my 
goodness. You know what I'm thinking? I may heat that up and that plug will fit in there. Because I personally don't care if this comes off again because it's for me and um, So now I'm going to bring up my nut and bolt, washer bolt, up to the top. Oh, come on. I put one up there. All right. Anybody want to give me a hand? <laughs> I need three at the moment. Uh, oh, there we go. The struggles, eh, for crafting, I tell you guys. There we go. I just got to get that washer on there. I think getting it started and then tightening it might pull that back in. There we go. Oh, I'm so sorry. You are right. I am right in your way. There. Awesome. I am so happy. Now let's, will we turn it on to make sure it works? After all this, watch it not work. Here. Look at that. I am so flipping excited. I'll bring you up a little bit so you can see it with the... Look at that. Now I need new shade. What color? What color would you do? What am I sticking in? I am just, yeah, I'm going to have to play with this part. My hand is so bummed, I'm going to have to get one of the boys to tighten it up. But, oh my goodness. It turned out. What the heck? Okay, I'll bring you down. Bring you down. So, yes, I'm wanting... A different shade so what color do you think put it in the description box like look, look at that I'm gonna look at this every morning when I have my coffee at the trailer I am such a lucky gal not that I'm praising my work or anything but I think this turned out all right and let me turn off the the light so you can get a better look like that is just amazing I love, and I'm not a type, no wave is straight. So when I was doing these, my thoughts were, I put my line down and I love this one, how it goes up, goes that way, and then it goes this way and goes that way. And I think that's a good effect to do if you want it to look quite realistic. Like, look at the depth. I don't know if you can see it, but this was the second one. Just amazing. And I kind of like how it pulled around here because it's got the lamp post there. So there's something in the way and my little stuff there, I think is cute. Now I did get the gold did come up over top some of them, but like I said, it's for me. All I has to matter is that I liked it. So, well, there you go. My beautiful people with that being said, I hope you liked my go big or go home week. Um, and I'm, I'm just, I, I'm speechless, which is very rare for me, but, um, it turned out no technical difficulties. You're getting a whole video, which is kind of scary. And yeah. So with that being said, 
my amazing people. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, why are you not? Hit that button. And if you want to see my next videos, hit the bell. Because you never know what you're going to get on Sherry's channel. Um, I love doing so many different things. So with that being said, in my description box, I have a link to my Facebook page, which you can share your art if you'd love to. I have my Amazon shops. And I have the link to Laura's Art Corner, which I used all of these pigments are from Laura's Art Corner. Use my discount code, all capital letters, Sherry Moulton, 10%. Get 10% off your whole entire order. And my PayPal link is in there. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Have a wonderful weekend.